I thought we were three matches. Three ma I made it. Yes. <laughs> three matches. I'm here. Three matches. This is me. Three again, matches of on excitement. The mic. I hope you guys are ready for some Smash Brothers. So this is this is losers. This, right? this is loser semis. Yes. So this we is just surprising finished. to see Blue so far down in losers right now. Yeah. Well, uh, Hooded is actually the one that took him out. Oh. So this is a run back. Does he have the tech? What? He said, "Lift it up." Does he have the tech? The answer what? to this? Well, I don't know. Wait, but uh, Hooded is playing Ryu. Yeah. Hooded plays only Ryu. That's scary because yeah. False plays Ryu. Yeah. <laughs> so but, I, mean, I mean, obviously different you know, style though. I'll probably yeah. Ryu. Blue, uh, Hooded beat Blue earlier, so it's another two out of three. This is loser semi. So well, you can see already right off the bat, Blue is not even playing defensive. He's just being really hyper. Oh aggressive. yeah, no, he, he's got to be very aggressive against Ryu because also th that's Mewtwo's main tool against Ryu is his nair because it's multi-hit. It God. beats out, you know, focus attack. Oh, he tried to actually yeah. dodge out of that. That that sucks. But you see, I mean, Hooded was behind a lot in his matches with Blue. Um, was he always playing from behind, or? Yeah, pretty much. Uh oh. Uh, he he always came back and came in with the you know a true shooter he can. So uh, he, he pretty much turns it up once he gets yes. up to the high percentage. Maybe he's doing it on purpose because he knows. No, nah, no. Nah. Nah. I mean, nah. it's, it's hard because <laughs> because what Blue Blue gets a lot of is he gets a lot of damage from the Nairs because he knows Nair is going to beat out focus attacks. Okay. So Hooded cannot approach with focus attack. So uh, basically stealing as many options as he can. Oh, the runaway. And I do not think that uh, Hooded is still a very aware of the uh, Mewtwo's forward air because that's what he dies to a lot or gets hit by a lot is his forward air. Oh, wow, he actually survived the back throw. Yes. Good DI. Oh, he was actually looking for him to roll across the opposite side and did not get it, but still very, good throw. Very nice by Hooded to run away after that uh, exchange. I feel like, nice up throw just yeah. to kill. I feel like Hooded should not, once he knocks Blue off the stage, and if he has, if he has the lower percentage, um, I mean, the higher percentage, I feel like he shouldn't challenge Blue because Blue is always going to go for the, the tail pretty much. There, the there's nothing Hooded can really do so um, just when, Mute, when Blue is on stage because he can't challenge him because of that tail. He can just up air as he's returning to the stage and he'll do nothing and, you know, he'll lose that exchange. Oh. He, he was counting on the, uh, the, the shield break. break. Yeah. No, he was counting on him to drop the shield or roll away. Oh, okay. Um, what he should have done is he should have approached him like that with the Hadouken and do the Shield Breaker. He absolutely would have broken his shield. I, I I thought he was going to go for a Shield Breaker, considering the fact that he is he was a lot of percentage. He was, yeah, he was locked in that shield with the, with the true Hadouken. That's how, I mean, that's how you should do it, I think. To but he's going for committed stuff, at least, so that means he's not afraid of losing to Blue right now. He's kind of like confident in his play style right now. I just, mean, honestly, he should. Uh, if he gets the should Hadouken out, he should definitely approach with Shield Breaker. But he's doing a great job chasing Blue down, not letting Blue kind of uh, play too defensive. But that could hurt Blue in the long run if he keeps playing too, oh, he too got defensive. It. Oh, he didn't. He didn't get the follow up, unfortunately. Blue trying to look for the down tilt there just to force him to jump, but missing the grab there. And, and what I like about Hooded is he's very good about getting in on Mewtwo on blue is because it's hard to get in on Mewtwo because he's got he's got the shadow ball projectile yeah. he's got the confusing command grab and, and he's got that tail which gives him all this range and yet and, and plus he also has uh, like you were saying earlier uh, fair right yeah and that fair so. his fair is extremely fast it, it has a long range and a lot of kill power I'm pretty sure his fair can kill at the edge right now can I get shot and Meza shot and Meza ah oh, well Meza's gotta leave me now but I think I can hold it down. And look at this. Hooded is bringing it right back. It's already brought him up to 76%. Is that? Yes. Unfortunately, he did not. He could not lift through that up air. So Blue will take the first game. This is only a two out of three loser semis. Uh, but the winner of this will move on to fight James in loser finals. Yeah, the parry sound is pretty... Uh, Pretty awesome to hear in Smash Brothers, especially if like you're doing a rapid succession. You're like, shh, shh, shh. but uh, but yeah, guys, this is the uh, eight on the break weekly. Uh, you know, this is number 355. We run these every Tuesday night. So you know, if you want to, you know, uh, come out one day, it's only ten dollars to enter the tournament. 
or we can just watch the stream every week. Uh, so here we are, game two, back to Smashville. No. And right now, Blue is being more aware of the host Hadouken, because he knows that if he gets caught on the shield, that one there be, there's going to be that one time where Hooded comes in with the shield breaker and just, just annihilates him. So he's being more aware of using confusion instead to par uh, reflect it. Oh, good coming in with that nair. Or forward air. I have no idea what, which is which, to be honest with you. They both look the same to me. Very good by Hooded to, like, he slightly alters his hitbox using focus attack as well. So uh, he'll, he'll slightly dodge attack so he doesn't have to use the armor. But yeah, see, Blue is definitely more aware of that Hadouken. He doesn't want to be caught in that shield pressure. And now, you know, Hooded has to be more aware of that too because now he can't use it as much. And if he is going to use it, he's got to be aware of both options. Blue punishing that high recovery with the Tatsumaki. Very smart by Blue, using the stage to his advantage, using the up air through the bottom of it. Oh, barely dodging. And now Hooded is being more desperate, looking for that shield breaker. But Blue is never going to stand in place longer than he needs to. Oh, why? Why is he spamming the Saruken like that? This is, you know, Street Fighter. Back air almost killing. Mewtwo is a very light character. Oh, <laughs> committing to that is very risky, but it went unpunished. And Blue proving to be uh, an immovable wall, not letting uh, Hoodie get in very easily. Very nice, did not get trumped. Although I don't I don't know. Uh Mewtwo's back here might trump right now. Oh! Good job dodging the follow-up after that confusion. Good gets gets the, the short jab into Shuriken. I don't think uh Oh! Just landing. He should have just shielded a hope. But I don't think uh, Ryu has any good follow-ups after grab, to be honest with you. And that's going to take it. We read the roll. Very nice. Blue taking it 2-0 over Hooded, getting that run back, getting his revenge. Uh, very nice. Good play. He, Hooded did start to drop it a little.